I created a list of five tools that you need to buy right now if you're a skateboarder. So let's get into it. Tool number one is obviously going to be skate tools. There's so many different kinds of skate tools out there, but these are the four that I recommend you buying right now. The first tool that you want to actually buy is a silver ratchet tool. It's going to help you set up your board really, really quickly. A tool that you're not going to be taking to the park. You're not going to be giving this to your friend. What you're going to be doing with this tool is keeping it at home. You're going to make sure that it lasts you a very long time. This tool costs about $20. However, if you are looking for a tool to take to the skate park, this tool right here is the perfect tool for it. It's a basic skate tool. It costs about $6. $10 to get. You could get it anywhere. You could even go to your local skate shop and use their tool because they have plenty of theirs. A tool you want to take to the park just in case for quick repairs for your bearings or for your trucks to make sure that you're able to continue skating if something does happen. The next tool that you're going to be looking at is this one. This is the triangle tool or a three-way tool. So same thing like the other two, they have your three sockets. You have your truck, axle, and bolt. However, this tool is also not ratchet. This is a threader. For your axles, so when you have stripped axles, you're able to re-thread them and be able to put on a new axle nut on the truck. This tool costs the same amount as the ratchet tool, which is $20. Again, this is a good tool that you could take to the park. The last tool, which I do not have, but I wish I did, is the independent multi-threader skate tool. It's a big giant tool, but it's the one of the best tools you could buy. And when I mean my bigger, it just means that it has a lot more features on it than all the other tools that I just mentioned is created by independent. So you should gotta make sure that you check the quality of the tool before you actually buy it. There's a whole bunch of them for like $15 on Amazon, which are terrible quality. And if you do buy them, it'd be a waste of money. So make sure you check the quality of the tool before you buy it. This tool costs about $30. However, this tool specifically has all that you need. It has your threader, it has your bearing pullout, it has your screwdriver, it has all your sockets, everything that you need for a board it has. The only thing that it doesn't have is the ratchet tool. But the next tool that we're going to be looking at is skate bags. Now there are plenty of skate bags out there. The ones that I highly recommend are the ones that you're going to need for different purposes. So let's say you're going to school. So this is a element skate bag. So obviously this is one of the bigger bags because you're going to be using this bag for school. You'll be able to strap your skateboard to the back of your backpack. That way you're able to carry it around school because I know some teachers go crazy about that. However, if you are not in school and you are out of school, then I highly recommend getting a hip bag, which is for your waist or around your shoulder. That bag is big enough for your essentials, but not too big where it gets heavy when you're skating. Now, if you are carrying more stuff and you don't want to carry that big thing, there's one more bag I'd recommend. This bag is big enough for me to carry all my filming equipment, but it's not too big where I cannot skate. I could still skate in the streets and it has all my essentials in it. It has my filming essentials in it. It depends on what you need and yeah, just make sure that you pick the right bag for you and what kind of situation you're in. So that was number two, let's move on to number three. The next tool that we're talking about is tripods. If you're skating and you want to get filmed, but there's nobody around, you're definitely going to need a tripod for whatever camera or phone you're using because a tripod is going to help you get clips and be able to show them to all your homies than having to look for someone to film for you. There are different kinds of tripods. The first tripod is an Amazon basic tripod. This tripod is one of the cheapest. It has not good quality. If you are going to be skating in front of it, make sure you watch out because it's pretty bad. However, it is $15. So it's what you expect. If it is very windy or if you are skating, skating nearby, be careful because it could really easily tip over because it's very, very light. A good quality tripod brand is called KF Concept. And KF Concept is one of the tripods that I bought recently. I think if you have the $55 or $60 to spend on this tripod, go right ahead. This tool is one of the best tools and this tripod is one of the best tripods you could get there. The next tool that you're gonna be buying is equipment. You can't really be a skateboarder if you don't have any equipment. If you look at professional skateboarders, they definitely have their own kind of skate parks or their own obstacles. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about exactly where to buy these obstacles. The first equipment that you should be able to buy is a rail or a grind box. And I'm not saying make your own DIY, I'm saying you should buy a professional made equipment because those equipment are gonna last you so much longer than if you make a DIY. And this equipment is gonna be the one that you're gonna keep at home. You're gonna put it out in front of your house. You're gonna be skating it every day. Now a grind box may be expensive. It costs about 350 to $500. And a rail costs about 300 to 350. So if you are trying to buy something for a little bit cheaper, buy the rail first. The two brands that I really found good at manufacturing these equipment are OC Ramps and Keen Ramps. Both those brands have a team riders. So every time when you buy 
something from their shop, you're actually supporting the team and the skateboarders on their brand. If you have an indoor skate park, I highly recommend getting a membership or a monthly subscription to them. So that way you're able to skate as much as you can. If it costs like $200 you can go in there, you're basically saving $150 if you skate there every day. Make sure you use and abuse the membership. Make sure you're skating every day, especially after school. So those are for the people that are living in the city. That's just an alternate to buying grind boxes and rails. The last tool that you need to put your money into, phone or camera. Now there are definitely different kinds of phones. There are different kinds of camera. If you are just starting out, if you are filming at 4K 24 frames per second, it's not gonna be able to slow-mo the clips. You have to make sure of your specs on your phone. That's why I recommend iPhone 8 as the latest model you could buy because it has a good quality camera. If you are filming on a iPhone, you're not able to listen to music, so I highly recommend you getting a camera. But you have to make sure that camera is able to film in 1080 60 frames per second or 720 60 frames per second. Definitely get yourself a camera. Make sure of the camera's quality. Sony, Nikon, Canon, any of those brands, highly recommend it because those brands are probably one of the biggest dogs. If you guys are looking to buy any of the tools I just mentioned, I do have links to them. So please support the channel and click on them. It helps push out the content. If you guys do subscribe, like, and comment, this does take me time to create this content by doing something for free, which is just subscribing and liking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out, y'all.